Monday again, and this time our mic is working. I checked just to make sure. Our camera is a little bit off though, so let's fix that. There. Testing, testing, one, two, three, hooray! It works. I love it when it works. So, uh, we're back with what is probably the penultimate stream of Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, if I had to guess. Uh, we're, we're closing in on the finale. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think we've got a lot of the pieces now, I think. I think we've got enough to have pieced together what went so horribly wrong in New Eden Town um, with Deborah Comenius and the, the people who uh, essentially collaborated to have her declared a witch and then horribly incarcerated. Not that there's a non-horrible version of incarceration, but like most of those people are now gone. Uh, and we're back to the... We're back to Seeker's Island. I guess it's, it's still Ceridian's Island uh, in memoriam. Um, and we're going to get some final answers before we head back to the town to confront the Nightmare and explain um, that uh, it, this... What happened seven years ago it sucks, but doesn't have anything to do with us. And then hopefully we can negotiate for getting Antea's body back. That would be great, obviously, if we're able to do that. Uh, I think that would be the happy ending. Um, will we get there? Shmeh. Probably won't get there tonight either way, just given how much stuff is between us and there. But uh, who knows? Uh, maybe I've completely forgotten and uh, we'll, we'll uh, speed through it. We'll see. But I'm guessing tonight will be the penultimate stream of Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Uh, I'm just sort of talking through the end of the ad break because Twitch did that thing again where it's like, hey, you want to run ads like a minute after you start? And I said, yes, that sounds great. And they said, okay, cool. What if pretty consistently, but not consistently enough to like predict, we waited like two and a half minutes after starting instead and then ran the ad break so that you're just sort of sitting here twiddling your thumbs for an extra minute and a half. Uh, wouldn't that be cool? And I said, no. And they said, we don't care. We're doing it anyway. Um, and, uh, that's just sort of what streaming on Twitch is like. Uh, I was chatting with a friend of mine who streams, uh, exclusively on YouTube, and it is not any better over there. Uh, because <laughs> I briefly, briefly considered where it's like, hey, you know, there, there's not much competition in terms of streaming services, but there is one competition. Um, uh, but no, it's, it's, uh, possibly even notably worse, uh, on that side. So the fact that this is the best we got is, uh, it, anyway, um, but it's fine. It's worth it to avoid the pre-roll ads it, throughout the thing so that nobody, the people don't all have to be here at the start because I feel like that would just be silly. Uh, all right, that's, that's about as much preamble as I can do. Hooray, there we go, ads are done. Welcome. Uh, so, I think I've, I've pretty much done all of the recap. Um, we... Was last time the trial? I think last time was the trial uh, with the the goo court and the oh, we had the Dark Link fight, which honestly, genuinely very cool. I really kind of enjoyed um, how well the AI versions of Red and Antea were using the same moves. <laughs> it's like ah, good. They, they've read my they've read my dossier. Uh, but with that, we then went back to blank on his name, Governor Haskell, and uh, rather dramatically outed him in front of his uh, meager congregation, who did not speak up in his defense when we just zwerped the life right out of him and gave it to Montea. I think she'll make better use of it. Um, kind of interesting was in the middle of that, uh, uh, as as Red was leading up to his execution move, um, his Mortal Kombat fatality, if you will. Uh, he said, uh, life to the living, and then was interrupted by Deborah jumping in and saying death to the dead, which has some interesting implications. Uh, but that was fun, for certain values of fun. Uh, and yeah, I think that was actually most of it. We, so we, went, we went down the mine. Oh, uh, Red Nantea started getting, like, whammied by the infamy, which was the actual name of the Jello court. Um, but it looks like that's mostly passed, although Antea still has some stuff that she's worried about 
And I appreciate that they're talking about it, but they're, like, angry talking about it, loudly talking about it. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed they're able to get that resolved, because we don't have a lot of time left before uh, it's all coming to a head. I don't know if we could segue from there, so I'm just going to say let's also talk about content warnings before we get further into the stream. Uh, this game deals with death pretty much throughout as its major theme. Uh, it did... did I don't know that we'll do any haunting cases tonight, but they also obviously deal with death. It's in the name with the haunting. Uh, but it deals with grief from several angles and, and things like that, so I always want to kind of harp on that one. Um, to a lesser degree, there are instances of sexism, racism, and domestic abuse that are, are uh, I think, meant to kind of reinforce that this is not a, uh, a, a mystically... a world devoid of those things. Uh, but it, they are there, so I obviously want to forewarn. Any particularly big instance of them, I should be able to give specific warning on. Um, I think we've avoided most of what I know to be the big instances of them, so I think we're, we're good there. Um, violence against animals. We will possibly have one last round of having to fight wolves, which is a trend in gaming that I wish would go away. Uh, but that's the, the biggest thing to worry about. For more detailed warnings, visit the doesthedogdie.com entry for Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, or click on a link in our CW tag. We'll take you right there. Uh, and you'll see the long list of stuff appropriately spoiler tagged where where necessary. Um, obviously, we're coming to the end of the main story, but there's a lot of stuff that I haven't streamed. So if you plan to play this yourself, the spoiler tags will help uh, avoid it, it being spoiled on the side quests. Because there are so many of them. So many. Uh, other than the stream before this one... We have ended every single stream of this game in a place where I cannot do any of that side content. So it's a good thing that it, as much as I did between, like, two weeks ago and last week, because it's literally the only chance we've gotten this entire stream series to do any of the side stuff, which I think will also get us a, uh, in my opinion, a better ending. So we'll see how all that works out in the end. All right, that's enough of me babbling. Let's get into the game itself. There it is. And find out what's going on with Seeker. It's dark. There we go. <laughs> Took a moment for the light to actually, like, kick on. Is there a new question mark over here? Where is it? Hang on. What is this? Oh, right. We got the fusion power. I forgot we got fusion hot. Well, let's, as long as we're here, we cannot get ye flask. All right, never mind. So much for as long as we're here. Right, Antea went off by herself, and Red was grumbling about having to walk to the island. It's only really one, like. There you are. Ready to go. Here you I just you? got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You are not alone. Can we go now? Oh, there she is. Can we talk? Nope. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I guess. Boy travel. Or not? It's not working. Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. I am doing my best, my love. Something's wrong, and I don't like it. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. See there. This will only take a moment. Ah, showing off the fusion power. See? Ah, well, 
Throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. <laughs> Spell isn't working. I think she's gone. There. There. Still no ghostly spectral spiders hiding away in there, no? <laughs> Good. After you, dear. Gonna get enough of my backside, can you? Are we going here? Where are you? No, you wee witch. Okay, is Seeker also gone? What's going on? Oop, that box. Grace, dear child, though I pray this letter finds you healthy and well, I confess that even should you give me your assurances on that count, I may well doubt them. I'm no fool, my girl. I know something is amiss with you, and I know your father is concerned. Far though it be for me to interfere in your familiar relations, it is important for a young woman about to make her way in the world to have help beyond the confines of her family. That's true. Hey, Al. Uh, enclosed with this letter, you should find a key and a map. You will find the place I have marked clear. Do not forget you are not alone. I am on your side. You can also count on Catherine Newsmith. <gasps> Kate! She's a trusted friend who would, if asked, help you organize your departure. In faith and service, your teacher, Mistress Deborah. Who the hell is Grace? From Deborah Comenius here. And who's Grace? Thank you. That was no my question. Back to New Eden Town, and no seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace and where to find her. Well, I wanted to check in with Kate anyway. How can she find anything in this mess? We're wasting time. Let's go. Hang on, what's this? It'd be important. Seeker drawings of different plants in a detailed and scientific way. She draws Cute. well. Well, can we draw this to a close? All right, we need to talk right, hang to on. Kate. I want to look at the stuff. Advice to Women by Theano of Crotona. This book is addressed to all women, whether with experience in magic or without. Okay, so... I was a little bit worried by the title, but it's about magic stuff. That's different. Okay. Herein lies connected a wealth of ancestral knowledge that has been otherwise forgotten, perhaps even forbidden. Many rituals are inscribed herewith, including the great ritual of concealment for your protection or that of others. Seeker, may the wisdom herein comfort and protect you even in the darkest of times. S. Guessing the other S is Ceridian. Manual on how to hide from men. Wish I had one. All right, so clearly there's still a trouble in paradise. We can just we can just warp there. Let's see, uh, hunters camp. Yeah, hunters camp. Hunters camp. Yep. Hey, not highlight. Travel to. Yep. Nope. 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 Okay. Eh, please, help. Why are you not... Can I not warp out of here? Maybe I can't warp out of here. Hey, July. Hey, Alice. Yeah. Zoop. Alright, I'm going to try that again because that's throwing me off. I can highlight them, but it won't let me travel to them. Hmm. We got to walk. Give me a fast travel system, and then they said no. Ah, well, that might be why. Oh, got it. We have to finish Shall the tutorial. We dance, then? Aye. Is that one taken care of? Right, so both triggers? Both triggers. Hell yes. Yes! <laughs> Night. That'll do. Whoops. <laughs> we stab next to you. If the spirit chases were working, we wouldn't have specters. 
I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see hey, Kate. Come on. Give me. Nom. Well, we have one last chance at upgrades before this is all done, so. There. Alright, now can I fast travel? No. <laughs> That's right, I should enjoy the journey. It's just, it's a kilometer and a half. That's a hell of a journey. Mm -hmm. More Witchstone. I guess the fact that we're still getting Witchstone is confirmation that we will find Seeker before it's all said and done, because... Nobody else accepts it as currency anymore. Hi, Jasper. We take the boat. Oh, that's why. We do kind of have a fast travel. It's just a different fast travel. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't much. It's fine. Back through the fort where we first met Old Saul. Move it. Luke. I think we've hit enough. Hell yeah. One every two. Bye. Where's this one? I didn't see much of this, but I like your combat strategy. I like that your combat strategy seems to involve hurling your body at enemies in an X pose. Yes. The uh, Antea's leap power is one of my favorite things. It's just a lovely gap closer. If all I had was uh, Antea's leap and Red's heavy attack, I'd be sad. The other stuff is nice, but. Those, those are the, those are my bread and butter. Oh, I see. Here, you. Yep. Over we go. All right. So now that we know so much more about what's going on, oh, hang on. I kept meaning to go back to Kate and ask more about. Deborah, given that we found her diary where she felt like she betrayed Deborah. Um, Who's that? And now. Yeah. Whoop, hang on. Now finding out that. Deborah was her teacher and sent someone named Grace Get lost, won't you? over to her for. Whoop! Ha! Ah, no, not. Please, the target lock. This one. The one right in front of me. Uh, the plot has thickened. We'll finally get some answers, which would be nice. Use as few mechanics as possible, they'll just keep you down. <laughs> Been watching um, Julia Le Petit of uh, Secret Sleep Over Society play through Bloodborne, and it's kind of become a little bit of a joke that uh, the whole game is dodge and hit. But that is more or less it. Try this on for size. This one. Heck yeah. Oh, please. Oh, that's the wrong button. Bumpers, not triggers. Whoops. I mean, we were going to have to deal with that one anyway, but it did just sort of heroically intercept the bullet. 
pretty traumatic, really. Just walk out. Mandatory boss combat. Enemy groups. Hitboxes if you're quick. <laughs> that meme pays dividends. Uh, everywhere. I have also been uh, replaying Elden Ring recently to, to get ready for the DLC coming out in another month or so. Which means that I'm now constantly hitting the wrong buttons. Like, I'm hitting Y to try and pick stuff up instead of A. And it's just got me all backwards. Uh, I, my first time out, I did the... the Well, not my first... My first successful run of Elden Ring, I did um, the classic big bonk build with a just all-strength build and a big two-handed weapon. Uh, and then kind of flirted with Faith towards the end. But now I'm going back at it with a... Uh, a started out with a like katana build and decided I would try bleed for a little bit and now I'm getting into sorcery so I'm trying out all the stuff I didn't try last time basically um, so far my biggest takeaway is that um, Eleonora's twin blade is busted in half and I love it I just I become a whirling dance of death and uh, then they fall over and it's uh, it's great it's very good I might get bored of it eventually, but right now, right now I'm really liking it. Jasmine, would you like to say something? <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that. Here, let's get cat cam while we're walking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There. But he's overpowered as fuck. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That was, that was why I didn't, like play with it initially because it seemed a little silly um particularly because that was i think before they had uh done the changes to the rivers of blood katana um looking forward to that one but it is kind of silly how much damage Watch you can out. put out to any enemy regardless because it's all percentage based sorry were you trying to get my attention over there you have it now can I join in too? Yep. Goodbye. Crap. Oop. You hate to see it. There we go. Wonder Pet Kitty over the internet. Here. Vicarious Scritches. She's just been over here quietly complaining. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And the chin scritches, very important. Do not skip chin day. There. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, over here. Yeah. Alright. We still have a kilometer to travel. I was mentioning, I think, first or second episode of this, that one thing I like about this game is even though there is a... A, that there is a fast travel system, even though I found myself not using it a whole lot. Unless I had to, like, really backtrack. Most of the time, I would, I would just go to where I was trying to get to. That's because most of the time you only have to go, like, a, a hundred meters, two hundred meters away, and you can traverse that super quick. And this is the first time we haven't had access to fast travel, and I'm like, man, I kind of miss my fast travel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I stopped scratching. That's on me. You're right. That's I apologize. My fault entirely. There we go. Whoop. There. <laughs> Tummy rubs. I remember growing up and hearing people talk about how like cats don't like their their tummies touched, and I just have, I guess I've just been very lucky with cats that I've not had that experience. You do want me to go this way. Oh, there's a rope. I missed the rope. 
Hello, rope. Yeah, that's way off. Oh no. <laughs> Things I do for you, Jasmine. Alright. Nope. Still not there. No. We'll do it that way. <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> Some cats love it, generally only if they're raised with tummy rubs from kittenhood. That's a fair point. I mean, uh, I've, I've had it... I've been reminded by my partner several times that uh, despite common wisdom, cats are absolutely trainable. Just don't tell Jasmine that. The look she's giving me? To be fair, the look is probably because I stopped scratching her. And you want me to go here? Yeah. End away! Oh, we're absolutely going to get attacked in here, huh? No, oh, all right. That let me surprised. I think that was an arena the first time we came through. Under. All right. Lovely. I think Billy Speaks is the YouTube channel Mock showed me. It's about a cat who expresses herself by talking buttons on a mat, even with simple sentence structure. I love that. We've become convinced that uh, Jasmine, whatever language she's speaking, which is almost entirely comprised of swear words, she is definitely fluent in understanding English. There are just some uncanny ways that she can respond to even complex phrases. And it's like, no, she she definitely is vibing with whatever we're saying. And trying to answer back, but she just doesn't have the vocabulary. She does have a vocabulary of swear words. You can tell in the tone. Now those are definitely friends. And by friends, I mean the opposite of that. <laughs> blam! Love the blam ability. Down. Yeah. Down. What? Oh, okay. Fair enough. No, no. There we go. Would you kindly... All cat language is swearing. I mean, yeah. I've known some cats who, who I don't think constantly cuss. But with Jasmine, you can just tell. It's in the tone. It's in her face. She's swearing and she wants you to know that she's swearing. And that, uh, I appreciate the extra emphasis. Don't know why I'm surprised to see ghosts in a game called Ghosts of New Eden. I mean... I, I felt a little silly the first couple of the streams when talking about the content warnings and the first one off the top is death, and it's like, there's death in this game. Ghost is in the title. But, like, I want to I wanna make sure that people know that it's not just, like, a silly horror game. Oh, we just never unlocked this, huh? Neat! Also, hi, too. I don't think I said hi to you before. Wee. Oh, no. Go for the green one. Get lost. Yep. Yeah. 
get blasted. And the Threeper. Sure. Never mind that your head's in a rock. We'll, um, we'll shoot the rock. It's fine. It's fine and normal. I just want to check real quick. What? Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. What low? Okay, we're level 20. We're not that far off. I keep seeing these uh, enemies at like level 23 with their uh, the number in like dark red, which usually means this enemy is too high for you to be fighting right now. And I'm like, I, I didn't think we were that low level. We're not. I wonder if it's just... The game kind of caps out at 25, and I wonder if it's just the closer they get to 25, the numbers just stay red. All high-level enemies are a threat. Run. Still a gorgeous game. Back to why I don't mind not fast traveling. Whoop. Here we go. There we go. That's what I was actually aiming for. Okay. A little bit more. Alright. Oh, good. All of this extra leather for the road. I guess we're back in the first forest area. It makes sense that we're getting, like, early game materials. Uh, let's see if there... There is a roller coaster. Of love. And down. Whee! Over. Yeah. Over again. Oops. Get gummed up. There. Wow, you are tough. How about we I'm banish right you? Here, you know. Barsin left. We got you before you summoned anybody else. And away we go. We've almost made it. After running flat out for basically a mile. Not into that one. No way. Target lock, please. Okay. Needs target lock. Careful. Fear the vanishers. Hemp. And in the face. Good. We'll get a little bit extra XP for the road. I actually don't know if the final boss, like, scales or not. Nothing else seems to, so I wouldn't assume. The bridge! I remember this bridge. This is where we first learned that Kate had a broken heart. 
as the guard was a trout mouth. There's so many wooden spikes, yeah. Preparing to leave. Oh, wait, wait. List of casualties. Kate, we've identified what bodies we could. They are bare bones woodmen. Okay, we've seen this before because uh bare bones woodmen still a fantastic name and or RPG class. Oh, damn this to hell. I did the thing again where I hit Y when I was supposed to hit A. What news from the woods? Is anyone alive? No news yet on that front. Then yeah, I'll we need ask to, find you to them. keep looking. Uh, you know what? We can we could go find that first. Now, Kate. Where are? Oh, please. They were down by the beach somewhere. Is this them? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know. Still can't fast travel, which is disconcerting. Oh god, it's a kilometer away. No, never mind. I changed my mind. We can we can go find that after. The woods. Is anyone alive? No news yet on that front. Then I'll ask you to keep looking. We will, but first. Someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name. In an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. Pennington? I saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? As in Old Saul. I don't really care about this. I do care about this. What happened to Grace? I don't know that either. There had been strife with her father. Then she was gone. And the captain spoke of her no more. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Yeah, fair. Ah, uh, ooh, well, hmm, uh, sure. What did Grace look like? I remember her thin and boyish. Encumbered by dresses she hated to wear. That sounds like Seeker. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember... A snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here. Southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine. If it's still there. I love that I love that this sticks around forever. We're not saying this, but I love that this sticks around no matter what. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. Alright. So, the letter that we found in a cave that was like the half half burnt diary of Kate from like seven years ago was her confessing that she was in love with a woman and also that she felt that she had betrayed Deborah. And I assumed that those were the same thing. But now it sounds like Kate and Grace were a thing. And because... Deborah was helping Grace. Maybe that's why Kate feels that she betrayed Deborah. I I'm still trying to piece together the last bit of it here and where Kate's guilt comes from. Just our luck that when we need Seeker the most, she disappears. I still don't understand why the ritual failed. Let's just find the hut. 
but also if Grace is Seeker, which is hilarious, uh, then it implies that... Oh, that's two different things. Okay, so we'll go here. I guess we could go talk to Helen. Eh, eh, map so big. Still can't fast travel. That's so weird. What a strange choice. All right. Actually, while we're here, let me let me see if I can. Just I'm curious about something. It seems weird that they would ask us to walk all that way. Makes me think we might be dealing with a slight bug. Oh, I know what's happening. So in Elden Ring, you can fast travel from anywhere. In Banisher's Ghost of New Eden, you can only fast travel from fire pits. I am a silly. As long as we're here. We could have fast traveled the whole time. Anyway, so what I was starting to say was, if Grace is Seeker, then Kate and Seeker were a thing. And also, Seeker is Saul Pennington's is daughter. To your faith in your fathers, I'll go to this one to lose faith in yourself. Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. Oh, Lemmy. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself? Poor kid. But yeah, so assuming I read all that right, if Grace is Seeker, then Seeker is Saul Pennington's daughter. Saul, who came back as old Saul and was hunting... Ceridian, possibly because Ceridian, like, took Grace in. Um, it's, uh, it's all coming back together. Kind of love that. It does make me sad because clearly something happened between Seeker and Kate, which I'm going to guess was the whole Deborah trial thing. I don't see Kate turning her in, I could see Kate, particularly a seven years younger Kate, not standing up for her and then blaming herself because she should have done more. That's what I'm going to assume until we hear otherwise. Hey, Bedrock. Someone needs to tell Lemmy that we're all just making it up as we go along. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Banishes. Good day. You look well, Mrs. Priest. We struggle on. But yes, I feel better. Good. What can you tell me about a young woman by the name of Grace? It seems you already know some of the story. It was a long time ago, but I'll do my best to fill in the gaps. How was their relationship? I right, believe she can see it was stormy, as you'd expect between a commander and his disobedient daughter. I do think he loved her, but as far as anyone ever saw, he never shed a single tear for her. I forgot that right after we killed Pennington, his, like, the little, like, dying whispers that everybody gets after we murder them, um, said something about, you know, uh, trying to be, like, a soldier and a father. And I was like, what a random thing to throw in here at the end. It's not random at all. It's foreshadowing. What happened to her? As I heard it told, one day Grace just wasn't there anymore. Well, Deborah gave her a book with a how to hide spell in it. Later, after he exiled her, did the captain try to find his daughter? Not to my knowledge. He did not set off in search of her, nor did he send men. At the time, I thought it strange. Still do. I'll never understand how a man could reject his only daughter. And that, my inquisitive banisher friends, is all I know about the matter. 
How are you doing, Helen? My days are quiet. Some are better than others. At times, I am grateful for the memories. At others, they feel like fingers clamped upon my throat. I'm still learning to live around my grief. I'm very sorry for your loss. As am I. Take care of yourself, Helen. I will. No one else seems to want to. Oof. Alright. She does seem to be doing better, all things considered. But also, woof. So we're going here. Now that I remember how to fast travel again. We could go here. Sure. How much time again? 13 minutes still adds. Let's see. Let's let's go ahead and find the missing uh What's the word? The people that Kate's looking for. Let's go find them first. Because if this other thing kicks off the end game, what is this one? Oh, that's we haven't started that. Here, to the Mill House, where everything's coming up. All right. So, okay, this thing. Thank you. Oh, that's much better. Here we. Last matches we saw said that they were like down by the the coast, and over these rocks is the coast. So we're in the neighborhood. <laughs> well, I sleep in a bed that looks like a race car. I'd sleep in a bed with my wife. Probably done with the whole upgrade situation. That's just a nest. We don't need to worry about that. Zoop. If we don't have the XP by now, we're probably not going to get it. Hello? That's a lot of y'all. Did we miss a few? That's not the one I wanted to get. That's fine. This is getting to see That corpse. Oh, this is. Please. Yeah, yeah. One, two, one second. That spectre seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Yeah, hey, yahoo! That's what I was waiting for. I should get most of those. Reinforcements. Please. into an AOE was the best decision we ever made. Stay down. Good grief. That was so many. Oh, campfire over here. Excellent. We won't have to walk back. Bodies. Ah, too late. 
If you need a rest, this place is as good as any. Survivor's third letter. To any who, to any who will live to read this, our last testament. We met two militiamen, lately fled Fort Jericho, and, if they are to be believed, walking corpses. These soldiers had built a raft. They attacked us. I was quickly disarmed and swooned. When I woke up, the deserters were dead. Blessed be Etienne and my decision to remain with him, for together we have found success. We set sail now for the open sea and Boston. Spare a thought for Peter Buckland, who died in our defense. Blessed be his heart, and curse the land that killed him. I shall never return to it as long as I may live. Mehetabel Sykes. Okay, so they survived. They just, they took, they the, escaped. they they got on a boat. They escaped. I hit the bell, Sykes, I salute you. Someone actually made it out of here. Hell yeah. The heart. <laughs> Does that, I. Does that. Hooray, a happy ending. All right, this is the axe that they felt bad about taking from um, Nathaniel. Axe belonging to one of the survivors of the second group, but who later died when he fled with the other two survivors. Mahitabel and Etienne Roulet. It was left behind after they managed to escape by sea. All right. Peter's axe served them well in the end. Take it. Kate will want to hear all about it. I'm back. Hooray! Long last. Count book of a stranded ship. Ship from Plymouth departure on September 30th, 1685 to Boston. Crew, 30 men. Brandy, cider, beer, wine, water. Oh good, well, at least they have a lot of water. Alright, neat. Grab everything here. Oh, one more. Aha! Diary of the Captain of a Stranded Ship. October 12th, 18, or 1685. The Greta left Plymouth on September 30th of the year 1685. We have been sailing for only two weeks, but the weather has been capricious since our departure and has not stopped tormenting us since. The waters are tumultuous and the storm never leaves us. This plays greatly on the morale of my men, who are already tired. October 22nd. Bedivere, our helmsman, is rather pessimistic. A little too much for my taste. However, he is a seasoned sailor with whom I have already traveled. I don't understand why he looks so... desperate? He only talks to complain about the trip, and says that we are heading straight for disaster. If he continues, I'll gag him and tie him to the main mast. October 24th. We lost the sailor, Kenelm, today. He had been suffering from a high fever for several days. He was the youngest among us, barely grown up, still a child. It will be up to me to tell his mother the news. I hate this part of my job. November 3rd. Bad weather keeps pushing the Greta to the shore. It is like the winds and the fog refuse to let us reach any safe harbor. Tonight, Bedivere advised me to find shelter as soon as possible. I studied my old maps and remembered the small town of New Eden is not far from our position. I sailed there a few years ago. The colony was small, but maybe we could find some help there. Tomorrow morning, despite the thick fog, I shall set a course to the small harbor and hope for the best. The rest of the diary is unreadable. And we're standing in the hull of a crashed ship. So... I think it didn't go well. Rebel, now that I remember how to do it. Yes, yes, yes. I'll remember these buttons eventually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's go talk to Kate one more time. New. Damn this to hell. Yeah, no, I'm with you there, but listen, we have good news. What news from the woods? Is anyone alive? I found them. Truly? How many live? Two. Two. We found the grave of a third, a lumberjack named Peter. Peter Buckland. I knew him. A strong man. Good heart. He was ill when we left New Eden and stayed with the second group. He died saving the other two. Mehitabel Sykes and a fella named Etienne escaped the region and are, oh, it seems, on their way to Boston. I am relieved. Mehitabel Sykes, you little underdog. <laughs> the other fellow, I don't know. Mehitabel kept notes of their journey. You may have them. 
Thank you. Mahitabel the underdog, or, or Kate calling him an underdog, kind of flies in the face of her sister's girl. whole Only the Strong Survive philosophy, and I love that. Yeah, all right. Goodbye to you for now. And Etienne Roulet is the guy who gave Lamentation the uh, details on, like, magic rituals. The fact that we've heard so much about Etienne Roulet and never met them genuinely makes me wonder if they're setting up a third game of a similar style where we'll, like, play as Etienne. Because uh, we just, we've just kind of heard about their, their legend this whole time that we've been here. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, on that note, though, we are going to, before we set out for this last little agenda item, uh, head to our break. This is the second game. It's not really a sequel or anything like that, but the same studio did Vampire, which is like set in 1918. Um, very, very similar in a lot of ways, and there are references to like elements in Vampire's past in this game, which I think are just kind of Easter eggs from the same dev team. Uh, but I'm wondering if them talking about Etienne means that we'll have, like, another game that's not a direct sequel, but is of a similar style to these two that stars Etienne. The game is painfully hetero. I haven't gotten very far in it. I'm only, like, uh, two hours in. Um, and I'm mostly gay for the main character, so I'm bringing my own queerness to the game. But yeah, I haven't seen much in that game uh, that that isn't that so far. But again, I'm only a couple of hours in, so I'm mostly seeing, like, horrible combat which i'm not good at in uh it's uh it's similar but it's definitely the like less polished version uh it was the prototype i think before they they really uh, uh refined it for this one um right so as i was saying going to a break we're gonna step away for a few minutes so stand up stretch grab a drink do whatever you need to do to take care of you and we'll be back here in just a bit see y'all then
back. Alright, let's go find Ooh, this cabin in the woods. It's been a minute. Excuse me. But yeah, I started playing Vampire and got... I think about two, three hours into it. It's fascinating to see so many of the elements that they clearly refined for Banishers in their kind of prototypical state. I think I talked about this a little bit last episode, but... Um, the combat specifically, which is unfortunately just as present as it is in this game, in that, like, when you go from one point to another, you're almost certain to get attacked by a small gaggle of enemies. Um, except that, like... The combat here in Banishers ah, feels very See? satisfying. The hut may be near. In Vampire, mm, not so much. That's just a little triangle man. Triangle man loves particle man. Vampire kind of feels like a game from 2001 in every way, which is wild because I. Magic. Could Seeker be here? I think it was developed in like 2016 but yeah it has it has some of that like early PlayStation jank to it the the non-combat bits that where you like get to to meet people and and do uh, instead of haunting cases they have investigations those bits are lovely like those those were, were wonderful elements um, it's really just the combat that I'm struggling with right now Let me target the big one. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> ah, this bit. 2018? Jeez, yeah, it does not feel like a game from 20... It doesn't even feel like a game from 2016, but, like, the 20... the 2010s were a very weird time, because you could get, like, say, a Resident Evil 6, um, but you could also get, like, I don't know, good games, uh, and they were, were cotemporous. Oh, well, these are interesting, but I don't think they're what I'm at. Everyone wanted to be Dark Souls except for Dark Souls. <laughs> uh. yeah, this way? Cabin. Uh, cabin we can't get into. We have to go up and drop in, probably. I don't know if the sale is still going. I was very tempted recently when um, most of the Dark Souls games went on sale uh, on Steam because it's like I haven't played three, and I I know that it's not exactly from what I've been been hearing, this particularly can't lately. Coincidence? Could Grace be Seeker? I mean, that's what we're putting together. Um, that. Like Dark Souls 3 is almost as contentious an entry as Dark Souls 2 in terms of, of it's either loved or hated and not a lot of like dusty mid range hasn't been here for opinions. a time. Um, which has me curious about it. 
Plus, it's one of the only FromSoft games I haven't played, so it's like, yeah. But I don't know if that's worth picking up a game for. Anyone home? This makes me miss having a Blockbuster around so I could just rent it for a couple of weekends. Hi. There are probably still services that do that, but I haven't bothered looking into them. People loved it or hated it or they thought it was okay. <laughs> it's, yes, except for that, not that third one. Uh, <laughs> Miss Comenius? No. Deborah. May this letter found you. I hope you're... Thanks to you, I can at least be myself. Oh, this is adorable. Deborah, I hope this letter will find you safe and healthy. I did find the hut, but I'm not staying. I can at least be myself studying all the thing I love. How can anyone be scared of magic? Isn't it a wonderful thing? I found a safer place hidden away, a place where I could learn safely and invisible to all. Thanks to you, I may finally live free, away from him and his need for control. He never acted the father, only a tyrant who called the shots and left no place for difference of opinion. He never tried to understand me. Now all of this belongs in the past and a new life awaits me, a life where I no longer have to be his daughter. In a way, he and I can both be free. Thanks for... Thank you for your help. I hope to see you soon. Your student, Grace Pennington. Oh. Oh, I love... Oh, I love that. Right the fall from grace. That's hey, Bob. Funny. And neither is this. Aye. Fair enough. Fine wardrobe for a youngster. They're rags. And they won't help us find her. Aye. Why has the game kicked up the action music? Transcribed ritual of dissimulation. And the greatness of the shadow is found not only in magic, but also in the world beyond. Thanks to this as yet unsuspected power, the darkness becomes an ally, a protective arm that cradles and protects us, allowing a perfect illusion to the untrained eye. Darkness envelop me, protect my illusion from the light, fool the senses, blind my enemies, and allow me to live behind the curtain of an alternate reality? Is this where the weird, like, time loop shit is coming from? Annotation from Seeker. I'm almost successful. The ritual of dissimulation is not complete enough, but I must be able to perfect it in my own way. Not surprising coming from a demonology book. They've always been far too narrow-minded to broaden their vision. But with this base, I'll be able to create the perfect illusion spell. Maybe I should go thank him. After all, he took a bit, big risk in copying this ritual. Perhaps if our paths cross again, then I will thank my latest friend. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who is this? More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Okay, thank you. That's who I was thinking of. A rough drawn map. Old hunter's camp in the dark woods. What looks like a small cabin out in the woods a ways has been circled. All right. Deborah knew about this place. Focus on the matter at hand, Red. I am. Yeah, that is the matter at hand. Thank you. <laughs> Red, come look. Wait, where are you at? Come look where? First, I'm going to do this. Going... All right, back inside. Must be something on... Yeah, there we go. Whoop! All right, there's Triangle Man. Frozen waters, maybe? Vapors? Sika drew this. Now we know. She's in the mountains. There's a ritual of dissimulation, and we need the catalyst. The circle powers the door, but I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lamy might. All right. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Ah, uh, sure. Alright, where's the nearest... I guess the back of the hunter's camp. Alright. The nearest fire. Whee! Let us teleport. Is this the house we saw from earlier? Yes, it is! Uh, 
gray stuff. What a strange contraption. What a strange person. Whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. We need to get this right. We cannot afford to fail. We won't fail if you stop dragging your feet. I don't like it when you guys fight. See, originally I thought this was just the infamy, but like, that's over and done with. Wee. Ageism says posture is not a field where they feed the cows. <laughs> I forgot I added new stuff for the uh, redeems, but thank you. <laughs> That's a good thing to check. <laughs> why Why did I make it the Metal Gear Solid alert noise, Andy? What were you thinking? Why did I think it was an Among Us alert? I mean, I feel like the Among Us alarm is more of a just like a when the uh, when someone has like sabotaged the reactor or whatever it is. This is a funny joke to play on future Andy. There's a non-zero chance that's exactly what went through my head. Is I'm gonna set this up and then I'm gonna immediately forget it as I have a habit of doing. And then when it happens live on stream, I'm going to go, Who the fuck are you about? Which I didn't quite, because we were just walking from place to place. But if we'd been in the middle of a fight and that happened, I'd have been very confused. More so if we'd actually been playing Metal Gear Solid. Hmm, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Are there any skill points that I want to reallocate? Get rid of Vanishing Leap. We don't defeat a lot of enemies with punches, so I may take this one back. Let's let's just grab a whole bunch of stuff back and I do like leap against full health because that's I tend to use it as my my go in thing. Weak spot hits with the rifle reduced manifestation cooldowns by twenty five percent. That's not bad. Defeating an enemy with outburst triggers an area of effect to dealing spectral damage. That might be a better investment. Right, let's let's take a look at the new thing here. Damage taken is reduced by 50%, but manifestation cooldowns are increased by 30. No. Banishing enemies fills the fusion gauge. Okay, that might be worth it. What does that unlock here? Damage taken by red. Okay, alright. Rifle shots deal area of effect damage? Oh, that's... Hmm... Hmm. Have explosive rounds. Hitting an enemy with Ante reduces manifestations by a second. Defeating an enemy with manifestation reduces the next damage taken by 90% is handy. Banishing triggers a damaging area of effect around the target. Very handy. Reduces cost of punch. Defeating an enemy affected by ensnare applies ensnare to all other surrounding enemies. Ooh. All right. Health point gains are increased, spirit point gains are increased, banish point gains are increased, damage taken is increased by 25%! Wow, devil's deal, huh? Damage dealt by anti is increased by 50% for each manifestation and cooldown, that's pretty good. Banishing increases the damage of the next manifestation by 70%. Weak spot hits with a rifle trigger a punch attack that ignores resistance, so we shoot somebody and then Antea just comes out from the top rope. That's that's hilarious. I don't know how useful it is. Infusion and spirit points are fully restored. That's quite good. Ensnare gains one more projectile, so we'd be a double ensnare. Defeating enemies while infusion restores 20% health points. That's pretty good. Charged heavy attack restores 50%. No, that's not going to help us much. 
Oh, this is very good. So we get a whole bunch of health regen. Or we could... We could get a whole bunch of health regen and take the Devil's Deal. So we're doing a whole bunch of damage, taking a whole bunch of damage. But we've got a health gen, health regen engine. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. The banish gauge is filled. The next damage taken is reduced by 90%. Okay, but banish points are reduced. I don't want to do that. tempting, but I don't think it's very good for us. These are fine. These are fine. Yeah, alright. Swank. Uh, and rest. So now we're going to take a bunch more damage, but deal a bunch more damage. And as long as I remember to keep using fusion, we should heal ourselves up as we go without having to, to spend CP cup charges. Then I looked at the screen again, and my brain took that voice and imagined it saying, Yes, check your posture. <laughs> yes, check your posture, cheese slut. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I can't remember if I got my uh, a choice of voices. I think I did, and I just went with that one because it, it, did, uh, it made me giggle. In Red Dead Redemption 2, there's a magician who can catch a bullet in his teeth, and there are all kinds of videos of people using various weapons, but the best is the explosive bullet. Yeah, that sounds like Red Dead Redemption 2 players. Uh, I feel like that selection of abilities was rather YOLO, which seems inappropriate for the promise you made. Yeah, that's fair. And it seems no faith. Yeah, I don't think that we wanted to be keeping alive the faith that was in this town before. Maybe that's just me. Hey, bud. Practicing a speech? Yolt, you only live twice. <laughs> Wasn't that a James Bond movie? And book, I guess. Well, ho there. What a pleasant surprise. I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. That seems like the right call. The wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. <laughs> a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. <laughs> it is, as the children say, a shite hole. <laughs> Leaving sounds right to me, if these people learn from their mistakes. Thank you, good addendum. Right, Mistress Duarte. A new start elsewhere, away from the place in which they sinned, will do them good. Spoken like a leader. I fear, however, that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. Ah... Uh... Yeah, let's just move on past that. Page ripped from a book. Yeah, do you recognize it? Excuse me. Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb, I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, uh not done. <laughs> we know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Aww. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which Hell yeah. Makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? 
You never again try to find your best friend. Your only friend. You don't even rub it well, in. You see, some weeks later, the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down, and Grace was better off out of it. I That's was right. Fair. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. As much as he's still a little too, like, what's what I'm thinking of? Reckless academic to not be a little bit dangerous. I think we made the right call in clearing the way for Lammy to, to be leading this place. Certainly, he's going to do a much better job than his father did. But also, like, there are so many little notes that make it clear that this is a kid with, like, he's got a solid moral compass. He, again, I think sometimes it leads him over, you know, rough terrain, like the whole Caleb situation. But it's pointing him in the right direction. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she... Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Uh, then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult, once you're armed with the salient facts. I love this little nerd. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, uh, of course. <laughs> like you're one to talk lamentation. <laughs> his full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Okay, two oh, blue mana and... I... What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Aralu. In the vault. Uh... That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defense, once you, you left a book of book spells in the void? The illusion will be like a walk in the park, comparatively speaking. Buddy. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we found her, we'll be glad to tell her. Okay, I can't stay mad at him. Apparently Jasmine can stay mad at him. I just went in a circle. Yep. There are the stairs. To be fair, I might have left something behind in my haste to leave the void. That's... Okay, no, you're right. We, we did ask him to get out of there forthwith. And if he did so... Go on then. Talk to me. An old back. You act as though all is well. As though I had not died. I'm dead. And I'm not alright. I'm not alright at all. But you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way. Okay. Okay. We're talking. This is good. This is, this is progress. I like it. Also, completely understandable. What's the matter, Devin? You went to face creatures? I'm gonna have to set up my second camera for a cat cam soon. We finally have a place that they're like consistently hanging out that isn't right behind me anymore. So, yeah, I think at some point I will just get the second camera and stand set up and just have that as a second camera to the side. That's true, I could give her the wireless mic. <laughs> what do you think, Jasmine? 
You ready for your close up? Alright, we brought this bridge down. I was hoping we might be able to get past without them seeing us. hear the tiny complaints. She's almost too sleepy to complain. That guy looked like the good ending of Harry Potter. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, that's a pretty good description of Lammy. <laughs> yes. Come here. Come here. Yes, I know. Hi. Can I play my game now? But yeah, so Lambie's okay. His mentor, Etienne, we know, uh, uh, at least set sail for Boston. Which is, is as good a news as you can get around here. And now he's planning to take the survivors of the Harrows and leave, which seems like a good idea to me. Yeah, and, and Kate's doing better, and hopefully we're helping resolve. If we can get Grace slash Seeker back to Kate, that, that'll be double bonus. But if, if we can at least tell Kate that she's okay, hopefully that will be worth something. Ooh, ooh. The whole conceit of this season originally was games that have a potential for a happy ever after. It was not really meant ironically from the get-go. Uh, and, you know, like, a lot of the endings that we got in Slay the Princess were definitely... I would say happy, unequivocally. Get lost, won't you? Similarly, like Little Goody Two Shoes had some that were very happy, and some that were definitely not. Uh, I'm not sure that Signalis has any happy endings. Maybe, maybe just that it's over. Uh, that one's that one's complicated. Uh, but this one, even if whatever happens with Red and Antea. I like that we're able to help a lot of the, like, side characters find what they need. Sometimes I almost like that more. And up we go. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Over. Piss off. The green one. Whee! I'm right here, you know. Stay down. This is probably overkill, but it's fun overkill. There was probably a fast travel point closer than this, but honestly, it seemed like Red and Ante needed some time to kind of walk and talk. We just, we went back to the old mill, of course, I should have figured. That's where we entered, because each void, like, portal thing goes to a specific part of the void, it seems like. It's not just, 
You're in its sights, Red. It's like a subway station. Get in here. Well, I know it's not that way. Ooh, here we go. All right, there's an elevator, I think. Yeah, okay. I'll back up first. So I know I keep talking about Elden Ring, but there's a thing in really most FromSoft games with elevators that I've just gotten in the habit of. Anytime I ride an elevator down, I wait for it to reset, and then I send it back up and, and keep going. On the assumption that wherever I'm heading to, I'm going to die and have to run back from the, the like nearest site of grace or bonfire or whatever, and that way the elevator will be at the top waiting for me on my next life. Oh! More web. Cut the web. A little spectral spring clean. The best kind of cleaning. F14 saves time and just has fights on the elevator. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure I've talked about this before. The first game that I remember really being like obsessed with elevator fights, or that got me to really think about. Uh, how often elevator fights happened in games was the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game that had, I think, I think multiple levels on elevators. Um, which, of course, you know, for an arcade machine was a brilliant way to, like, save on level design space and memory and just, you know, airdrop the enemies in. Uh, but it just ever since then... Anytime that there's an elevator fight, I always think of the TMNT arcade game. Which, imagining Shredder saying, Such devastation! is very funny. It, it fits perfectly, actually. Actually, such devastation happens later. The elevator thing was, uh, Do you believe in Eorzea? Which is also, I think, a very funny thing for Shredder to say. Because, why is he in Eorzea? What kind of crossover is that? Who knows? Such devastation was Shredder's intention, it's true. I'm banishing you to a time warp from which you will never escape. <laughs> I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death... left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at the chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. Just try to deal with mine. Wow. That's... <sighs> I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. Antea, are you having... You already had second thoughts. Are you having third thoughts about the ritual? Because... We've killed a lot of people. And, like, I stand by the choices that we've made. But we've killed a lot of people. Ghost wards cannot manifest. I suspect this would be a different conversation on an ascend run. I I really need to do the ascend run because I'm I'm also curious about that. If because I could see the conversation going actually the exact same way on an ascend run, which I think would be a wonderful choice. I just don't know if they did that or if it's a 
if it's a gentler conversation and they're talking about like what comes after. Right, so somewhere around here are ghost wards. Ah, well, no wonder I couldn't see you from before. Always. Right, I forgot that Lamy is the guy who was just prodigious in the production of Ghost Wars. He just made so many. Uh huh. Oh, up top. Oh, what was that? There. This isn't over yet. Let's go ahead and kill you there. Everybody. Perfect. Love it. Good stuff. Little guy. You know what? Hey, buddy. How do you like my iframes? much it doesn't seem Woo crap I hate it when that charged heavy attack comes up just a little bit short it's the worst feeling it's like even haha oh uh <laughs> this is awkward <laughs> blocked by an inanimate flaming rod yeah this this is the MVP right here this little torch And, yep. Okay, this looks like the place. Does the thing we're looking for have a spectral trail? Is this the place? It's not. Maybe we go out and around. Wee. If you were aiming to hit the torch, I just hit an amazing shot. Yeah, it's a great trick. Too bad I can't do it twice. Hey, okay, well the uh, the thing definitely has us going there. What did I miss? So far, the objective marker hasn't led me wrong. And it would be weird for it to start now. Oh! Right next to me. It is, however, two dimensional. Well, this looks ah, like book stuff. Only more scattered. E we the void shifting. The book should be around here somewhere. Did that? Yeah, it did. The Trismegistus. Trismegistus riddles. It's fun to say, Trismegistus. Again, great character name. Hello, I'm Tris. Trismegistus. Trismegistus riddle. Symbol, downward pointing triangle. This symbol means balance, simplicity, solidity. Not really used by the Demonology School of Magic. This. <laughs> Sorry. The juxtaposition of those two sentences is fantastic. This symbol means balance, simplicity, solidity. Demonologists don't really have a need for this. <laughs> this symbol will be preferred to those witches, women who call themselves scientists. It is mainly used for illusions or any other spell that deceives the primary senses. I'm starting to understand Haskell's whole, but I'm a demonologist bullshit. This seems like his kind of tone to undo this kind of spell focus on the origin of the spell and order the spell to be undone undone on behalf of the caster also specify what the spell should undo and what meaning it should release from the spell got it that seemed a little too easy we have the symbol we need let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place 
Okay, so we can't go back that way. Whoop. Back up. Back up. Whoop. Whoop. Yep. There. Noom. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Did you hear that? First things first, Red. What? Oh, the harvester's back. Hi, bud. What? Are, what what's going on? What are you? What are you? What are you doing Which in I the void? It. This isn't over yet. Ooh. The little guy. Did we miss a few? Whoa. Come on, get me to jump in. Thank you. Ow. Got distracted, that's on me. Once more with feeling. God, I love the iframes in this game. This isn't over yet. <laughs> no weird it's birds for you. Now. Brace yourself. Did the thing again. Oh, good. Oh, what? The little Running one. Away, are we? The lid. Born again, huh? Okay. It's more. Oh, no. Tragic. Get banished. See, that's your face. Hey, sweetheart. He's such a kidder. So I don't remember if we actually fought the harvester on stream. The one stream that I got where I was doing the, the side stuff. Um, harvester shows up at a bunch of the nest locations as kind of the, the final round. So it's kind of a recurring enemy. It's the first time I've seen them in the void. At least that I remember. Maybe that means that's the last we'll see of them? If you die in the void, you die in real life. I'm more worried that we keep hearing what seems like a child's laughter. And Antea doesn't want to talk about it. It seems like it might be relevant. Hopefully it's fine. We're in the mountains now. Hooray! That's where her thing said she would be. Unfortunately, the mountains is a large place. I do have a rope. Aha! Let's climb this brown rope cast against these gray rocks. <laughs> oh, are we doing the 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 gondola? Gondola? Gondola. Yep, there it comes. We'll just uh, we'll just hang out here. This is why this game needs a dance emote. Just just this one moment. Just you know, suddenly, red starts breaking it down. No, too much. That's fine. Not every game needs to be Fortnite. Fortnite's already every game. So.
So pretty. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to stream once we finish this game up. Uh, but this, like, snowy mountain terrace reminds me that one of the things that I was considering was uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, a.k.a. the only good entry in the new Tomb Raider trilogy, um, which also deals with, like, snowy mountain vistas and is also just a gorgeous game. But going from this one to that one might be a little bit of a hat on a hat, I don't know. Harvester is a big bluish green man with a strange goatee. I'm guessing that's significant, you know? If it is, I haven't put it together. But then again, my whole first playthrough, I didn't put together that old Saul was Saul Pennington. Mostly because at the time, Saul Pennington was still alive. So, I was very... And, and it was just referred to as Captain Pennington. But like, this time around, it's very clear... Okay, so we're not supposed to rest here, we're just... This is in the area. Is it up the rope? Yep. Hooray. This is it. Super uh -huh. is behind this wall. Oh, I see. Let the veil, Let the veil of, unknowing of unknowing be lifted. Be lifted. Let, Let us see through, through the eyes of Grace Pennington. slow, even for a banisher. You're late. It's fair. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You're Ceridian. You think you have more time. Little seeker. And suddenly, you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. You still banishes, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. Yeah, that's not the thing we're going to harp on. This is the important thing. When I asked if you'd known Deborah Comenius, you denied. Wait, yeah, we did ask that. Why? Seeker never met Deborah. Grace did. I am no longer Grace, and I don't like to speak for her. Deborah was Grace's teacher. She encouraged her to be herself, to become who I am now. Okay. They did not know one another, but without Deborah, I'd have never met Ceridian. And with Ceridian, my entire life changed. Deborah suffered terribly, and the fate she met was exactly the fate I fled. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? You learned magic by yourself. Not really. Not at all. First, Lammy Haskell's forbidden books told me that magic was real. They say you must look out for the quiet kids. <laughs> and that was me and Lammy. 
Reading those books opened my eyes to worlds of wonder. But I did not learn witchcraft until Ceridian found me. Lammy showed me the view from the prison window, but my mistress walked me right out the door. Lammy was relieved to hear your well. He talked about paying you a visit. When I was exiled, he was the only one who'd help. Sweet boy. But now is not the time for visitors. Later, perhaps. Later, when you have lifted the curse. The boy will be disappointed. He has a thing for witchery. <laughs> we looked for you everywhere. Why did you leave the Maya marshes? I needed time. Silence. My own space. Hidden away behind Lamy Haskell's dissimulation spell. Oh. You know about that. It held a full seven years. Isn't that impressive? This is the place where I embrace solitude. This is where I made it a strength. Did Ceridian find you here? Not physically. I dreamed of her. I dreamed of the Maya Marshes. So, I went there. And I found the island. Quite the thing. Meet your dream in person. I suppose so. At the time, I was more focused on the fun I'd had getting to the island. Oh, so? Our first dance. I admit I ran away. But we have danced many times since then. Old Mossed, Ceridian and me. Yeah, it's like... Because if Old Saul is Saul Pennington as a zombie, then was Ceridian Seeker on a different time loop and Old Saul was essentially trying to either get back or get back at his daughter. Huh. How long have you been in this time loop? The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Mm -hmm. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seemed broken. We need your help. Of course you do. <laughs> We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. Mm. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This void breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. Hey. You know what? It's the end game. Let's let's buy some stuff. What what have you got? It's this. Uh, it's cute, but not super helpful. Also, that's fine. So many soul shards. Void splinters. Big gems. Let's grab one of these. There you go. With that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. I like her a lot. Mm, I like stuff. the new place a lot better than the old one. <laughs> a different person, then. What's this? What's this? The Volkhards of Roanoke. I'm gonna go ahead. We don't need any more weird mysticism about Roanoke Colony. Hello? What's this? Oh, that's the wrong one. 
mystery about old Moshead. I miss my mistress so much more than anything I miss her teaching and her presence. Am I ready? I know she prepared me for something, but for what? There's so many things I don't see clearly. Why did Ceridian remain so elusive when asked about what now awaits me? Never totally believed her when she told me so many mysteries were eluding her. I'm convinced she only tried to protect me by refusing to respond when I insisted. After their final meeting, it's obvious she knew exactly who Old Mosshead was. The way the Spectre checked his watch, the anger in his voice, even his name, Old Saul. Was that spirit some uncanny, horrid incarnation of my father? I remember every word from one of Ceridian's most obscure teaching. For the unbalance will be so strong, even the dead may come back from a future you already faced. Okay, there we go. Uh, was Old Mosshead some punishment conceived for me by the Nightmare hiding in New Eden? What did Ceridian exactly know... What did what, what did Ceridian exactly knew about some events to come I already faced? Like all the other inhabitants of New Eden, I'm afraid my fate rely, relies to the thing hiding in New Eden's meeting house. Soon enough, I better go there. Uh huh. Neat. Did I miss anything? No, I think that's all the stuff. All right. And perfectly timed. Oh, hang on. What's that? That is not your concern. Fair enough. That's <laughs> nice and quick. Uh, anyway, as I was going to say, uh, with that, we're actually perfectly timed. Oh, she's got one garden. Uh, perfectly timed to head to our second break before we kick off the end game here. Maybe we will finish this tonight. We'll find out. Uh, but first, break time. So, just like before. Stand up, stretch, do whatever you need to do. We're going to duck out for a few minutes and run some ads so that we don't have to deal with mid-rolls the rest of the stream. And yeah, that's the whole spiel. See you in a few minutes.
He's just face down, nose first into the cushion. Just conked out. Cats are the best, man. Like, no shade to any other creature, but just cats are fantastic. What were we doing? All right, again. There we go. All right, so as long as Red and Antea are not carrying any, like, weird extra vibes with them into the void will be fine and it's not She's like the they've been now. may she have all the wisdom of her mentor and more i wish i had half the wisdom of mine you're not as stupid as you sound you'll be fine i'm sure it'll be fine they do seem like they're they're they do seem like they've worked through it which makes me happy Through the void. I don't actually remember how much endgame there is from here. Yeah, we might just finish this tonight. Sweet! Alright, that's yeah. I'm still I'm still readapting to the longer stream nights. I still have like the 90 minute cycle in my head and I was thinking, oh 90 minutes isn't nearly enough. We have two and a half hours. Ready to walk through it if you are. You're about to enter the void range to New Eden Town. Once you have crossed it, you will not be able to return. Point of no return. I do love that this has become like a standard in so many games. That when you're hitting the point of no return, the game will just talk directly to the player and say, Hey, <laughs> any side quest you want to do, do it now. The downpour lasts for days. I used to lie on the grass, face to the sky, and let the rain wash over me. I'd come home soaked through, smell <laughs> salt and dirt, and drove my mother insane. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I miss it. I miss home. What do you miss? I miss our house. It was ever full. By day, the sick seeking my mother's cures. By night, our friends and neighbors for food and hot debate. <laughs> we did not have much. I love food and hot debate. And you came hungry would be fed. My father was known for his ngombo. I miss it. And I miss the warm, clear sea. I don't know. I think... Maybe it would be nice to go back for a little while. You told me you weren't one to put down roots. Maybe I could with you. I think I'd like that. I think I'd like that too. Thank you for standing by my side through it all, for everything. You're talking like it's over. It ain't over. Then. Always. Cost, etc. Yeah, yeah. All right. What is it? 
baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on. Is this the little laughing girl? Do you want to talk about it before we... No, it's fine. I'm sure we'll figure it out when we get there. We did bring, I think, much better energy into the void than I was worried we were gonna, so at least we got that. <laughs> oh no, Bob! <laughs> Welcome back. Let me know if I need to, like, remod you or whatever. We'll get to that uh, after stream. Stay watchful. Spectres are still drawn to you. Oh, brilliant. Oh. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked I haven't done that more myself. Of course. Our last night together. I knew it. And now the question is, how do we reach it? Uh, roller coaster? Roller coaster. I see one in the distance there. Uh, can we drop down here? No. <laughs> Twitch is a well-designed website with an intuitive moderation interface. I need that, but in the, like, alerts voice. Twitch is a very well-designed website with an intuitive, moderate interface. I need that on a shirt. What are you doing? This is Aleja. She is a witch, and she is running away from the Spanish soldiers. She had a horse, but he died. He was an old friend. Maybe we can build her a raft. I'm Anthea. What's your name? To hell with that. Is that an echo? In the void? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Uh huh. Do we have to fight a creepy child? Okay, don't answer that. It's fine. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> don't love that. I don't love that. Don't love that sound at all. <laughs> oh no, you want me to go through the rocks? Are they... Are they the rocks that we can kaboom? They sure aren't. Alright, we go around. Monte, how about, how about you lead for this little bit? I feel like that might be... Worthwhile. There we go. Patience, You know that we have to be twice as good as them to get half of what they have. Ugh. I can't stand anymore. Those are blastable rocks. A sight to behold. Wasn't I always? <laughs> hey? Rude. Your mother is jealous of you. I'm better than she was at night. Of course she is. We could train in secret. Practice when she's not looking. These are memories from my childhood. Why here? Did we miss a few? Let's go ahead and... This feels up. good. Just rip the spell with several new ones. Up. Good night. Oh, so nice. Slingshot. And a harmonica? <laughs> what?
What's an aluminum falcon? <laughs> Over there, a passageway. Okay. Really? The paths form and reform. Your passageway's already gone. This place has a plan for us, and I suspect we may not like it. First young girl sounds a lot more like an adult doing a voice than young Antea does. Yeah, it it sounds wrong and just a little inhuman. Damn it! The void centers in on us. Perhaps you've been thinking about your past and memories are manifesting. Or the other way around. Your memories are thinking about you? That's not disconcerting at all. to shoot that one that was silly I'm right here you know vanish vanish I can do now it has a shield good good childhood friend is here what passed for my friend right we leave now you explain later valid a swing uh, <coughs> window mama mama it's just the game what what's going on go on Bernan. Bernhard. What? What are you? Our house burned. But we lived. I banished her without knowing how. Back then I didn't know what she was. She's... It's... Here. Leading us somewhere we don't want to go. Free yourself, Antea. Let the fire melt your shackles. Careful, Red. It's close. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Whoop. <laughs> Let me go back out. Whoop. Huh? Goodness, we have infinite ammo. Stay on there. Stay and play with me. I feel like being led by the nose. It's playing with us. Wants us to feel powerless. <laughs> she had a ghost for a childhood friend that was possibly posing as a regular little girl. And now they're all grown up. I'll feast on your soul. You okay, the Path of Candles is kind of cool. Never again. Never again. Come and play, Antea. Come and play. This is 
it's fine. You will never leave this place. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. You can't go around the fire. You must come through. All you there. All you No one to play with. No one to talk to. Poor little Althea. Gifted and talented. Constricted. Bound. Abandoned. Go to hell. Mm hmm. Tell him. Uh, do we have a... Do we have a campfire in the void now? Alright. Sure. I guess, yeah, if we had, like, leveled up or had stuff we wanted to upgrade. Speaking of, do we have stuff we need to upgrade? Eh. Nope. Relic campfire. <laughs> I appreciate that it's actually in the fireplace. Look at you now. Oh, okay. Look at you dead. Vain and foolish. And oh, the killing he has done for you. You're a poison to the goodness of your man's heart. This thing was never human, Red. Don't indulge it. Have you forgotten <laughs> just who you are? Damn you. You want to play, Calendre? Fine. Let's play. <laughs> Maybe we just sit this one out, huh, Red? Did they have the ability to put them in fireplaces the entire time, or did it take them the whole game to figure it out? That's a good question. It is funny to me how many of them were in houses, but not in fireplaces. At last you visit Calendre. Your bestest friend. We are not friends. And your name is not Calendre. <laughs> Perhaps I should name myself by what called me to you. Your willingness? Your solitude. <laughs> Your arrogance. No, I think we have read this one out. I have just one question. Why me? I had your call. You are such a powerful soul. How could I not answer? How could I not come and play? The shining craving in your heart led the way. All I had to do was follow. All I had to do was take you. You failed. I win. Look at yourself, Antea. Look at the men you love. Look at what you've done to him. He's fine. Victory? You got a cute new shirt. You cannot play your old tricks with me, Calendre. I am stronger now. So much stronger. <laughs> Bold of you to claim for a very dead banisher. Death hasn't stopped her from being a badass. You used me, manipulated me, and made me believe that was love. However arrogant, however angry Metaphor. I was, you changed me disfigured me. I abandoned my home. I fled from everything and everyone. I thought I had to be alone so that you could never happen again. For that, I forgive myself. But you, Calendre, no. You I do not forgive. <laughs> what will you do when you have sacrificed your mother's conscience so to reclaim your body? Will you forgive yourself then? I don't need you. I never did. Your tricks don't work on me. Not anymore. I shall not let you go. No. This is my realm now. You sent me here. And now that you have joined me, I shall feed. Then you are still a fool. Antea. Antea. Such a clever girl. 
so good with words of power. Is that how you seduce your little pet here? Oh, hello. And I am the relentless servant of the Queen of Kerr. The hell? Who? Um, stay a while. Stay forever. Stay a while and listen? Uh. Okay, good. You're not immune to bullets? Important science. Well, that was a waste. This is my Does this work on you? Yeah, and you've been webbed. Okay, that's good to know about. We must focus on the sorrow. Then we can teach that thing pain. This is my realm. Yep. Aha. <laughs> Run. And yo. Mine get banished. Calendre, we're not done. Hey. <laughs> All right. Actually, I'm not your mother. I am big demon guy. Really took the wind out of that scene. Yeah, it's just. It's the kind of thing that, that the demon probably thought sounded impressive, but it, it really just makes it ridiculous. It's different when it's old Saul and you're putting together that that's, like, somebody we know from the setting. But when it's just like, I am so-and-so, servant of the so-and-so, and it's like, I don't, I don't know who you are. Okay, now the star is also hitting. Let's go ahead and just look to me. And we'll do that. As stubborn as you are. Oh hey. Look what just filled up. How's that trash talk now? Move, move, please. No, all right. Uh, we live here now. Oh, that's tragic. Listening. Come back, Calendre. We're not done. Whoa. No. Hey. Whoa. Yes. All right. All right. All right. The real one. Almost there. Come back, Calendre. <laughs> Done. All right. Oh no. Oh, no. 
Alright. How about if you have this going on? I will reap your soul. Reap this bullet. Nice move. You realize you could do that twice. Get banished. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Damn. Every time? It sucks every time. Oh, you can teleport out of that? That doesn't seem fair. Alright. You're done. Crap. Yes! Okay. Oh no, oh no. Oh, wait, wait. Yes. Got there. That was something. I never told you the full story. I'm sorry. No need. Please, let's get out of here. Okay, yep, hop. And we travel. Onwards. There's no more time to lose. Is the entire town lost to Ivy? Her influence must still be strong. No. Alright. You know what? I don't think we're gonna get a better stopping point in the next, like, ten minutes. So... I might just go ahead and leave it here. Pick up next Monday so that we're not like splitting this scene. Shadows would say, another day, another soul to save. Hi, These Charles. People have no idea what they're up against. Pretty sure you said that at the start. Oh, yeah, that was us. We had no idea what we were walking into. You died. I was arrogant. I did. And you were. Oh, just... Just gonna leave it there? Alright. Uh, well. On that dour note. Yeah, I think... I think that's where we'll go ahead and leave it and stream a little bit early tonight. And next Monday, we'll, we'll finish this one. Um, I don't even think I'll take the whole stream. So, yeah. Neat! Uh, what a, what a lovely spot. Uh, so yeah, we're back to New Eden Town. Um, and, uh, next Monday we'll wrap up Manisha's Ghost of New Eden. We'll, we'll proceed through the town, uh, face the nightmare, and, um, and, and, and do a violence in the interests of understanding. Yes, it's as backwards as it sounds. Uh, cool. Yeah. All right, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out. I, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this ludicrous journey uh, because it has been deeply silly quite often. Um, speaking of deeply silly, be sure to check out our full schedule at schedule.truck.community uh, to see what the whole stream team is up to all week long uh, with uh, often multiple streams a day. Uh, and uh, you'll have links uh, to everyone's page and what they're streaming at what times on what days all in one handy place. 
which is, is why we keep that thing uh, updated as we do. Uh, bless you, Jasmine. No stream from us tonight? Alright, cool. Appreciate the heads up. Uh, so we will not be passing a raid. Uh, we'll just go ahead. Well, I, I may see if there's may see if there's a good channel to raid. But anyway, we won't be raiding uh, uh, Squirrel Lily channel tonight, as was originally the plan. Uh, we'll just we'll just leave off here, uh, and then we'll have our climactic finale next time. Uh, and I'll figure out what to do with uh, what will probably be the last hour or so of that stream because I don't think it's going to take us the full the full time just to finish from here. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. So. I keep, I keep thinking I'm forgetting something, and I don't think I am, and it's throwing me off. So, uh, I've, I've told you all about the schedule, I've told you all what the plan is for next week, and by then, I'll know what we're streaming after this. I hope. Stay tuned to find out. Um, yeah, just to say thank you all again uh, so much, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and I hope to see you next time. Jasmine, anything you want to add? One for the road? Did you seriously stop bathing the moment I put the, the camera on you? That's fair. I wouldn't want to have a camera on me in the bath either. That'd just be creepy. Man, I my my camera and I are going to have a real talk after this stream is done. I, I'm so sorry, little guy. <laughs> uh, but, it, but it's a Twitch category. Oh, no. God, I hate that that's true. Anyway, thank you all again. Good night.